Hello everyone, I'm Colby Armstrong. For two decades, there hasn't been an indoor community rink within the city limits of Pittsburgh. Well, that changes today with the ribbon cutting here at the Hunt Armory Ice Rink in Shadyside. A lot of time and effort went into this project with one goal in mind, diversify the sport and grow the game of hockey right here in Pittsburgh. So good afternoon, everybody. Very excited to welcome you to the, to the Hunt Armory uh, and the, the ice rink, which we're about to christen today. This will be the place where we create future stars uh, for the NHL out of city neighborhoods. I couldn't tell you the day that Pittsburgh became a hockey town, but it has. And if we're going to grow that hockey town image, it only will happen when we present ice hockey to all of our children. That's what we're celebrating today. So the idea of an ice rink came from the residents of Pittsburgh. So the Hunt Armory is in Shadyside, centrally located right on the bus line. For over 100 years, it was a military installation. Historically, it was used as an armory. This is where tanks and missiles and guns were stored. It, when it was cleared out, you had concerts here, you had rodeos. I, I think President Eisenhower in the 1950s gave a big speech there. And about six years ago, uh, the state decommissioned the site. Uh, the city of Pittsburgh acquired the site and we had a community process. I actually worked for Mayor Peduto at that time and we went out to the community and we said what would you like to do with this community asset? And they rallied around an ice rink. This is the fourth time that we've constructed a temporary ice rink in the city of Pittsburgh. The first being around the Pittsburgh Penguins Winter Classic back in 2011. Uh, then we had a, the one the following season at the Southside Works in 2012 and then our third outdoor rink at Highmark Stadium in 2013. The challenges are a little different when you're building an ice rink inside of a facility, uh, primarily making sure that you have the proper electricity to run the, uh, the chiller units. We have three 100 ton chillers here that will use to uh, refrigerate the rink. We trucked in uh, approximately 45 trucks of sand to level the facility out. And now we're laying down nearly 26 miles of piping that will be used to hold the refrigerant and make the rink uh, cold throughout the winter. So our goal is to diversify the sport of ice hockey, to make it reflect the rich diversity of the city of Pittsburgh. The only way to do that is to invest in a, in a sheet of ice and put programming there. The Hunt Armory is extremely exciting because all the more children that have not had a rink down the street from them growing up, the opportunity to uh, be exposed to hockey, try skating for the first time, try to play hockey. We're gonna offer community skating parties um, at various days, as well as learn to skate and learn to play Little Penguins programs. Our Pittsburgh Ice is gonna have a skills session. Pittsburgh Ice is a program for kids who are experiencing uh, economic problems, challenges uh, for different races that don't have the opportunity to actually participate in the sport. Uh, this is a very expensive sport, so you know we have people to donate uh, money and time so that we can uh, provide an environment for these kids to actually uh, enjoy the sport, as you see behind me. About seven years ago, we started bringing young people out here to Pittsburgh Ice to learn hockey, and we've been doing it ever since. Transportation is a big deal. We're probably a good 20 miles away from, the, from inside the city. Most of our kids live within a three mile radius of the armory, so the opportunity to get more ice time would be uh, tremendous. From the Penguins perspective and the foundation side, we were looking for someone to come in that's extremely passionate about the sport of hockey and excited to teach it and um, again, broaden the game. So we actually sought out Jaden Lindo. I was drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins back in 2014 in the sixth round. I went to school for four years back in Canada. I got contacted this summer about a potential position with the Pittsburgh Penguins Foundation. The Pittsburgh Penguins were very passionate about giving back to the community and helping to increase diversity within the area. Very excited to have him be uh, a leader of our programming for youth hockey. So he'll be in charge of running a lot of the youth hockey programs at the Armory. This is truly a project that the community brought to the city and said, we want to do this. I've been on the Pittsburgh Icemen since January 2017. It's just a, a hockey team of first responders, mainly police, some medics. Through our collaboration with the Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, the Pittsburgh Icemen are going to help out and grow the game of hockey, especially in the inner city. 
being out on the ice, you know, it's a different atmosphere. It's pretty much you're just thinking about you know, putting the puck in the net and you get to open up and, and just worry about playing hockey. This first season, this will be a seasonal rink uh, that we're installing. Uh, but our hope is eventually long term to make this a community asset year round. This building is epic, isn't it? I mean, just looking at this, this building was designed to house this kind of activity. You know, great architecture um, is not only resilient, adaptable, but it inspires great ideas and great achievements. And I think that's all really on display today. We have some nerdy fun facts about the building. So, named after Alfred Hunt, he was an inventor, founder, engineer, metallurgist, industrialist who founded the company that is now Alcoa. Great to see it come back to life and hopefully host a, a whole new generation and era of great sports memories for the city of Pittsburgh. I was asked by a, a reporter from the Hockey News, how do we get more kids of color in the NHL? I said, it's a, it's a 10 to 15 year project. I said, but we're gonna start right here, right now. Come check out the new Hunt Armory Ice Rink here in Shadyside. For more information, go to huntarmoryrink.com.